When I was in college, I used to work 10 or 12 hours a day on who knows what, and it was just me chasing shiny object after shiny object, trying to make money online. I tried drop shipping, I tried affiliate marketing, I tried a marketing agency, I tried it all. And when I stumbled across high level in 2021, I was completely overwhelmed, but I knew there was something to it. And I fell victim to the most common mistake I see when people find high level, where they see this amazing software and they just say, this is great, I'm just gonna go sell it to a business owner exactly as is, show them all the features, all the amazing thing it does. And all it will do is overwhelm local business owners. I can't tell you how many times I sat at a coffee shop in college with these business owners and showed them everything and just overwhelmed them and embarrassed myself and they said, hey, yeah, I'll get back to you, this looks great. And then they never actually get back to you. And after spinning my wheels for years and years, I finally decided to focus on one feature that I could sell over and over again at scale. And that feature was reputation management or reviews automation. Now I've been able to scale my business to over $26,000 a month in recurring revenue, just helping local business owners with this simple automation. And after onboarding over 350 business owners, I figured out the best way to get people onboarded quickly, make sure they get results, and make sure they stay forever. I built out all the automations, the scripts, the templates, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how I get clients, how to onboard them with a snapshot, and how to make sure they pay you for months and months. I don't want you to pay for the snapshot, I don't want you to pay for my course or my community, all I want you to do is to watch this video, learn, and at the end, I'll show you exactly how you can get access to everything for free. Enjoy. So just to kind of put this in perspective, in like 2014, 2015, 2016, dropshipping was so easy. This was like dropshipping back in the day when Facebook ads were cheap. There was very little competition. That's kind of what reputation management is. It's a multi-billion dollar industry with some big players in the space. And we just want to grab our little section and sliver of ten dollars to $20,000 per month to create that time freedom, that location freedom that we all crave, right? But nowadays, the only thing people want to talk about is AI and AI agents and AI websites and smart websites and all this stuff. While sitting over here on the sidelines is this just reputation management. That's a massive multi-billion dollar industry. You can see Podium did $219 million last year and started just as a reputation reputation management company. So it's a great opportunity for a super simple business model, not easy, but super simple business model with less competition than all the other AI agents and all the stuff that local business owners are getting pitched every single day. So the great thing about this compared to like drop shipping or affiliate marketing or something like that is that it's a recurring service. So, so you set somebody up once and you get them started and they pay you month after month after month for an automated service. So really one of the reasons this business model is so compelling is because it's so stupid simple, right? Normally when you're starting a business, you need to create the product or you need to fulfill all the services or you need to just kind of do the whole suite of what it takes to get a product off the ground. Well, you know, if you're building a software, you have to have a whole team of developers, right? The good thing about high level is, is that high level allows us to white label their software. And for $2.97 a month, we get unlimited sub accounts, meaning we can have unlimited clients set up, right? So it's not even like they're charging us $50 per client. And then we have to, you know, sell it for 200 to make $150 per client. No, it's $2.97 for unlimited customers, right? And so the process is very simple. We just have a sales call and then we have an onboarding call where you, you know, meet with them on their computer or at a coffee shop, or whatever. And a lot of times you can combine these two and then basically you just set them up on high level. They get more reviews, they get more revenue, they're happy, they pay you month over month. And this never would have been possible before high level, you would have had to have a developer or a team of developers to build this software. But the reason why people don't go directly, these local business owners don't go directly to high level is because honestly, high level can be a little bit overwhelming. Like if we go in the dashboard here, you can see there's a lot of different features going on. There's a whole bunch of stuff. Automations are confusing for to a local business owner who doesn't wanna take the time to learn how to do all this stuff. Right, And so that's how we can just distill it down to its core and I can show you how to do that where you can basically remove features and stuff like that. I've got a nine hour video going over how to kind of hide all this stuff and you know set up clients and sell clients and all that stuff. But we just distill it down to its core and just sell one thing. That way they don't get feature overwhelm and just don't take action. But you're probably thinking, why would a business owner pay a hundred to three hundred dollars a month just to automate the process of getting reviews, right? Like I get it, it saves them time. They're supposed to rank higher on Google and get more customers. But seriously, like our business owners actually want to do this. So what I did is I just pulled up reviewharvest.com. I pulled up all our Google reviews, and now we can go through and read some of these reviews. So Jackson said, as a small business owner, Review Harvest has been a huge asset to us. We've seen great results in such a small amount of time already. We look forward to continuing our partnership with Clay this coming year. David Treadwell said, highly recommend. Clay was super helpful over our Zoom session and helped with the entire setup. Even installed a widget on my website to show off reviews. Excited to start getting more reviews than I was. Um, Scott Klein said, I could not be happier. Within the first three days, over half my recurring clients left for reviews. Pooh Bears said, Clay and Carly are awesome. I signed up the same day and I received a few reviews. Onboarding was smooth and effortless. 
Um, you can just see it just keeps going on. And Angela said, all I can say is, wow, over 100 reviews in just days. I always tried to get my clients to leave a review myself, but would slack or forget to ask. Their method works, and I highly recommend. And so just by reading these reviews, you can tell, like, these business owners are more than willing to pay good money to take this off their plate and start getting the reviews because a lot of them really do struggle to get their customers to leave them positive reviews. So if you're at all logical person, you're probably like, okay, great, but show me how the sausage is made. Like show me how it actually works. Like, let me see the inside. So that's what I'm about to do here. So once you create an account in high level, this is the agency view. So this is where you can see all your clients, you know, and you kind of have the, the high level, you know, pun intended their overview of all your clients, right? But when you get a new client, somebody says, yes, I want some reviews and you want to set them up. All you'll do is you'll click on create a sub account. So once you do this, you're going to have my snapshot. So if you sign up with my link down below in the description, you'll get an extended 30 day trial. You'll get coaching calls with me. You'll get a whole bunch of free resources, but you'll also get the snapshot. So this snapshot has all the automations and everything built out already. So all you have to do is change a couple values, turn some buttons on, and that's it. And so all you'll do is you click on imported snapshots. You'll click on this snapshot that I gave you, and then you can search up the business. If you can't find their business when you search it here, then you can just add them manually. But let's just say that we did the best of New York. So we're going to choose this right here, and I'm going to put in some dummy information, and we'll create the account. So now that I got some dummy information in here, one thing to know is that this isn't going to create a user. It's not going to send them an email. This is just creating the account. This is just all the business information on their account. So we'll go ahead and add this sub account. And from there, it's going to take us to see where you, we can kind of manage the sub account at the agency level. So we could turn on rebilling. Basically what rebilling is, it allows you to rebuild for all the expenses that your customers incur and stuff like that. But what we want to do is show you how to set up. So how to set up this account. So click on switch to sub accounts. It's going to take you out of the agency view and take you down into your client sub account. So we're gonna get granular here. And what you'll do is, the first thing you wanna do is you wanna add them as a user, right? So you're gonna get them on an onboarding call, a Zoom call normally, or if you're if you're in person, that's even better, at a coffee shop or whatever. And you wanna add them as a user. You're gonna to go to settings, you're gonna to go to my staff, and then you're gonna click on add user here. You're gonna click on add user here, and then from there you can add their email, their phone number, it'll allow them to generate a password, and they'll be able to log in. Once they log in, you want them to click on connect Google Business Profile. This is going to allow us to pull their Google reviews. This is going to allow us to respond to their Google reviews to kind of get some insight into their business. And so also it's going to allow us to you know, use all these Google reviews to post on their social media, grab their review link, all that stuff. And so once you connect the Google business profile, what you'll want to do is you want to go to the reputation se section. You want to go to settings and you'll want to grab your review link. So click on review link, you'll have it connected and it's gonna give you the Google review link. And then you're gonna add that to the custom values that we'll go over later. But once you've connected their Google business profile, you wanna to go to contacts and you want to add their previous customers. So you wanna to go to their, their CRM, their booking system. I have a video about a CRM integration, how to create a CRM integration and pull their contacts and all that stuff. Just look up CRM integration on my page or GHL connector, that'll give you some ideas of how to do that. But you can just upload a spreadsheet to all their previous customers. And the first play we're going to do is a review reactivation. So we're going to get their previous customers from last year, two years, and we're going to reactivate them by adding them here via CSV file and then uploading them to this workflow. And so to add them to this workflow is really simple. All you actually do is you just go to contacts, you select all the contacts, or whatever, and you click here and just add them to the workflow. But in this automations, you can see this is the re we have two workflows for review requests. This is kind of in that snapshot. We have the reactivation message. So this is when we reactivate their previous customer list. Uh, so we're going back. And then we have the normal review request. So this is when we build an integration into their system. So that sounds scary. It's not too bad. There's lots of tools that make it easy, like Zapier, Make, Padly, GHL Connector. All that stuff makes it pretty easy. Basically, all that means is let's say they use Jobber or they use an invoicing system or QuickBooks or something like that to invoice our clients. We just want to get plugged in with that so that when they get a new customer, it sends the information automatically into high level. We can automatically request the review. And so you can see like this, this review request workflow, people will automatically be added via tag. So you don't have to do anything. It checks whether they left a review or not. And you can see I have sticky notes explaining all this and I have like an eight hour video on YouTube explaining all this, but it sends a text message, it sends an email, and then it sends a dynamic number of follow-ups based off of what you set at the custom value level. And so from there, all you have to do is go to reputation, go to settings, go to reviews AI, turn on auto responses. So you can create an agent, 
You can create an agent that has a particular tone on how they want to respond to their reviews, or you can start from scratch and kind of add your own tone to it, which is really neat. So now we're not requesting reviews for customers, we're responding to reviews for customers. The last thing is repurposing these reviews. So with that, you can use these widgets. So they have these beautiful review widgets that look pretty good. And when they get a review, it'll, they can display this on their site. They can get this code, embed this code on their site, and then they'll be, you'll be able to see all the reviews that are on their website. And the last thing is just we can turn these reviews into social media posts. They'll click here, connect to Facebook, connect their Instagram, and then boom, click on post reviews. It'll automatically post all their five-star reviews with the photos they wanted to upload, their colors, all that stuff. And so that's kind of how you set them up. The brain of the, the brain of this sub account, kind of how you change everything is through this custom value. So that's how I've engineered it, engineered it on the snapshot side of things. Basically, all you have to do to onboard client is click those buttons to turn stuff on, get them to upload their customers, hopefully create a CRM integration. Once again, I have plenty of videos on that. And then you just come in here and you upload the values. So their Google review link, their logo link, their personalized image, their name of their business, all that stuff. How many times you want to request a review? So it's basically like, you know, how many times do you want to follow up? All that sort of stuff. I know how many times you should follow up, how many times you request a review. This, this how many review requests I meant to say is that this basically is monitoring how many review requests they're sending out. And if they don't send out the limit, the threshold that you want them to send out, boom, it's going to notify you and them and say, hey, we need more contacts because this business is very contact dependent. If we don't get contacts from their CRM or something or from a spreadsheet or they email us their new customers, we can't get them reviews because we're texting and emailing these people to get reviews. And so that's a great way to get notified. And one thing that's really easy too, like I said, integrations. If they use QuickBooks, bada bing, bada boom, click on integrations. You can go to Wave, QuickBooks, whatever here, and then just click on connect and then boom, you're connected. And so that's really, really, really simple, which is great. So that's how you onboard them. So how do you actually get business owners to say yes to you? How do you actually get them to allow us to let them get Google reviews even for free? I wish I had some really expensive system to sell you that you could pay me every single month for and then I'd make a whole bunch of money. But uh, really, in reality, the way that I did it was this right here. And you can just screenshot this and use it for the next honestly, three, six months to maybe even a year um, because you can do it for free. And this is exactly how I got my first 10, 30, and on to like 60 or 70 SaaS customers um, on high level for Review Harvest, right? So the first thing I did was I focused on getting proof, not profit. I recommend that to anybody. You want to just get some reps under your belt. You know, in the beginning, a business owner allowing you to set this up for free, they're doing you the favor. Right. They're not, they're like, like that was when they allowed me to set up for free. I was like, yay. Yeah, it's, I'm like, they're doing, it's a good deal for me because I get reps under my belt. I can get a case study. I can get a review. I can get a referral. And so, um, at first just reach out to your network, like your, your phone contacts, people that know you, like you trust you already. Here's the script you can send out to them and then just go ahead and try to get some results. Right. And then use those results to reach out to people in your area. Right. So I got my first 10 to 15 customers this way. And then I reached out to people in my area locally to go ahead and continue to expand, get 20, 30, 40 customers, right. And get some more proof. And then once you have a lot of solid proof, you can use that proof and use that profit to scale. Right. So once you get to your first 10 customers, you can probably start charging. Like you have enough reps under your belt. You probably feel comfortable saying, Hey, let's go ahead and get a card on files to a 14 day free trial. Then it's going to be X amount a month after that. Right. But once you start making some money, you want to start reinvesting that money back into ads. So I was at about 30 or 40 customers. I had been doing it for probably five or six months and I was kind of hitting a plateau with my kind of cold outreach locally. And so what I did was I just created a simple ad saying, Hey, my name's Clay from Review Harvest. I help this business go from X to Y reviews. I'd love to do the same thing for you for free. I ran that ad and within two months, I pretty much doubled the amount of customers I had. I think I went from like 35 ish to 60 or 70 um, customers paying me every single month running that ad. And I only have 15,000 year round residents in my area. And so when it comes to, if you live in a city with a hundred thousand business owners, you, I mean, a hundred thousand year round residents that you could probably build a business um, just in your local area to 15, 20 K, 30 K per month. Right. Because one of the hardest transitions I made was going from local ads to national ads. Cause once you run ads nationally, you don't have that local trust to then um, help them show up to the call, help, you know, sell the call, all your, 
every single metric you could track, show up rate, close rate, all that sort of stuff is going to go down once you go nationally, right? And so in the beginning, I recommend like using your network and then reaching out to people locally and leveraging that trust and then start running ads. And so um, that's how I got to my first 70 clients. And plus when you run ads locally, if there are any high rollers in your area, like you know big CEOs of companies or people that own really massive companies, when you say, hey, my name's Clay from insert your city name, that's going to make their ears perk up, right? If you just say, hey, my name's Clay, I'm helping people get reviews, they're probably going to be like, oh, it's just a kid, whatever, and move on. But when you say that, that you're from the same area that they are, they're going to be willing to help you out. Honestly, I had so many examples of like big, big business owners reach out to me because they saw my ad and be like, hey, I want, some, I want to get some reviews. I want to know what this is all about. Something I would never have had a shot with, never had the proof, never had the, you know, uh, the reputation to kind of demand that sort of business, except for the fact that they were in my area and so now they're more than willing to work with me. And I will be the first to tell you, this is not easy. This is not a get rich quick scheme. This does not happen overnight. You can see here, these are all the other business opportunities that I tried in high school and middle school, in college, growing up, real estate photography, marketing agency, drop shipping, t-shirt company, drop servicing. I tried all these different things and the problem was I never actually stuck to them. I never gave any of these things longer than like four or five months, really. I mean, honestly, most of them I didn't even give a full month. Right. And so what I'm telling you is you actually commit to this and you actually do the work for a year, couple years, you can build it into something that truly does change your life. But if you just treat it as some side hustle, you just treat it as something that'll just work itself out, it's not gonna happen. When you do hit that roadblock, when you something bad comes up, you're just gonna quit. And so go into it with the long-term perspective of, hey, this is gonna take a long time to turn it into something that changes my life, but it's 100% possible. It's a simple business model, it's just not easy. Obviously, as I said earlier, I was able to grow Review Harvest, so now I have time and location freedom if I so choose, making you semi-passive income online, just helping local business owners get Google reviews. But it's really not just me. You can see there's other people in the community winning. You see Balin closed a 10K setup deal. Andrew had his first sales call, said it went good. He booked an onboarding call. You know, Alan's getting people 245 reviews. Javier had two onboarding calls. Lindsay got her first testimonial. People are crushing it left and right and center. And so it's not just a me thing. You see Frank got 26 clients in 70 days. And so um, if you are interested in taking the next step, feel free to sign up my link down below in the description. You'll get an extended 30 day trial instead of the normal 14. And then you'll get an immediate invite to this community where there's four coaching calls a week, three with me, one with Facebook ad expert, hundreds of hours of training, including the day one through seven course where I basically walk you through not knowing anything to day seven, having things set up and having your first client. And so we love, I would love to see you in the community here shortly, but if you want to stay on YouTube and you want to watch you know, a video I put together that has everything that I know about setting this up, everything it took me to get from zero to 25 plus K per month in recurring revenue, I just posted it on YouTube for free. Check it out. If you're interested in taking the next step, feel free to sign up to high level with my link down below in the description. You'll get an extended 30 day trial instead of the normal 14 day trial. And you'll get access to this community where I'm constantly answering questions. We have four coaching calls a week. So we have one coaching call with the Facebook ads expert every week and then three calls with me. We have a whole bunch of training. I mean, hundreds of hours of training on how to do WhatsApp for reviews, how to do Facebook ads, all the coaching call recordings, and then also the one, th you know, day one through seven course, right? To use from a beginner to having your first client set up and everything rock and rolling on day seven. And so if you are interested in taking the next step, feel free to sign up my link down below in the description. And if not, you just want to watch a video where I put everything that I know into a nine hour training and post it on YouTube for free. Check it out here.